Hi there guys, Siakko here. Just a little update on my spaceship cargo ship thing here in 3D code. So I sculpted this here just using the voxel sculpting tools and and sort of wanted to make like a little shape in here and sort of make this look like something. So um, one tip I want to share to you guys is to whenever you're working with concept models or you're working with something unique, something that you sort of have to create by yourself is to hit number three in your keyboard so you get this solid color so this is really great to check out the silhouette of the model and and check it from different angles and and kind of understand how it's going to read from a distance so this is something that i do all the time when i'm working with these guys so it's really nice so just hit number three and and then you, if you want to go back hit number five to get back to the shaded shaded mode in here so that's definitely one thing and yeah, and I also used instances here, so I created like one part here and then I instanced it around. So it's very nice because now if I want to go in here and create some details here or, or do some further work in that, then it's gonna automatically update. So it's actually really nice because you can sort of see how they connect together. So if I'm gonna go in here and uh, maybe uh, check one of them. So I'm gonna show you how it goes. If I want to like make, make one part in here that will sort of um, connect so maybe we can use primitives. So I'm just gonna go in here and hit the primitives, and uh, yeah, I'm using cylinder here. Now we can actually just go in here and drop this object in place. So now we have cylinders here, and I'm gonna hit hit add. So now when you see, we already see in real time, well, uh, instantly, what the result is. So now, for example, if we want to work further, we could detail this further, or we could add another, another objects in here. So mm, really big fan of the instance workflow in 3D code. Really do check it out. So yeah, just a little update on my spaceship thingy here and a couple of tips. So uh, I hope to see you soon. Thanks for subscribing, and this was Yako, and bye bye.